And welcome to another installment of The Brush, The Brazen, Sean's View Entertainment, right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Remember to leave a super thanks comment in the comment section below. As most of you know, but we have humongous updates to the situation because on Sean's View, we're not just going to tell you what you already heard or know. We're going to go deep further. We're going to go, we're going to dig deeper, give you more details, give you more rumors, more speculation, more gossip, more news, more headlines. We're going to wrap it all up and put it in one big ball and be on the define because here on Sean's View, we redefine the hottest, latest rumors, news, and headlines. Why? Because we can, because we keep it hot and fresh for each and every one of you as it comes, as it comes, as it comes down the turnpike. And here on Sean's View Entertainment right now, it is about being resilient. It is about being defiant is it about being at the edge of your seats and want you on the edge of your seats to want more and more because that's what Sean's View Entertainment is all about now before I go on a promo a rant a rave ladies and gentlemen we got big backstage breaking news as it concerns the following ladies and gentlemen according to those in the know yes you heard the news earlier John Cena returning John Cena coming back but he's not just coming back he's actually coming back to wrestle to compete. The rumor, the speculation is that it'll be John Cena in one corner going one-on-one -on -one with Grayson Waller, but that is not confirmed. There's a lot more rumors and speculation where that came from because we are not done, ladies and gentlemen, because just coming off the pike right now, just coming through an insider to me right now, guys, hold on, hold the, hold the phone, because this is just coming in right now. Cody Rhodes wants a match with John Cena before it's too late. Do you want to see Cody Rhodes one-on-one -on -one with John Cena? Also, ladies and gentlemen, without no bloodline, no Roman Reigns, no Solo, no Usos, SmackDown somehow topped 2 million views for Edge's 25th anniversary. Also, just coming down the pike right now in the spectacular news, rumors, and headlines. Before SummerSlam took place, Roman Reigns was on the internal plans for Survivor Series and for the other Saudi shows that was taking place later on this year. From what it was mentioned, Roman has not been mentioned since then for the, sh for the Saudi shows. It was also mentioned that there's been little detail given backstage regarding the Saudi show that was scheduled for later on this year. On the internal scheduling for the year, there was two Saudi shows booked. Also, LA Knight keeps surprising the people backstage with the sale numbers of his merchandise. It was also mentioned that some people have vocally that some people have vocally heard about working together with LA Knight. A lot of rumors and speculation about him winning the United States Heavyweight Championship. We got more breaking news. The feeling backstage is that Cody Rhodes doesn't need to win the Royal Rumble next year if if, if he makes the decision of doing, if the WWE makes the decision of doing Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40, it was mentioned that they are analyzing other creative ideas for both wrestlers, but majority feels that Cody versus Roman Reigns will potentially be the main event of the evening. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Sheamus has been discussed to make some appearances at Raw to, potent to potentially start up a new fresh rivalry. It was also mentioned that the Miz and LA Knight's rivalry will be a short one. Most people will be appearing on opposed brands. This is a silent way to end the draft. Yes, the WWE is looking to end the draft. Ladies and gentlemen, Dominic's reign as North American champion might end at NXT coming up September the 30th. Because, ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know with all the trouble and all the animosity and all the backlash on Dominic Mysterio, his reign as North American champion could come to an end at NXT No Mercy. From what it was mentioned, there's no current plans for Dominic on NXT after No Mercy, and that takes place September the 30th. And also, there's been a new creative idea pitched on having Dominic Mysterio having a title match, a title opportunity on the main roster before the year ends. We got to see where that's going to go and what direction the WWE is thinking with that. And guys, the rumors and the news just keeps intensifying throughout this very episode. Because here on Sean's View, then we got breaking news on a WWE legend, a WWE Hall of Famer. Kevin Nash is in search of next surgeon as his health issues intensify. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news on Matt Cardona joking that he's coming home to the WWE after driving near WWE headquarters. And of course, John Cena has indeed, yes, he has set the date for his comeback wrestling match. Also, breaking news on Rowdy Ronda Rousey. There is no shot of Ronda Rousey making her UFC return. That is the rumor. Also, Braun Strowman appears with a new girl, a new female, amid the Raquel Rodriguez breakup rumors. Is there a massive breakup going on in the WWE? Two emerging WWE stars will be plotting their presence on the WrestleMania 40 card, where it will be a major transition for the WWE. Also, Jey Uso was spotted for the first time since quitting the WWE. 
Also, ladies and gentlemen, a young fan has relentlessly heckled Austin Theory at a WWE live event. You must see it to believe it. Also, breaking news on WrestleMania 40. WWE is now declaring that WrestleMania 40 shot is an all-time record within a single day. Now, we got breaking news as concerns the Judgment Day, the main event of the video. WWE, according to the sources, the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, the WWE is not planning for any immediate changes for the Judgment Day stable. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Gertz drags WWE's change to the TV PG era as G-rated. Is the WWE about to become G-rated once again? More to come from Sean Viewing here. We'll keep you in the know on the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive news and rumors each and every day, multiple times a day. Sean's View Entertainment will always be the place to be because I'm the face. That books this place. Share this video to Facebook and Twitter. Tell your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends. Share it on Instagram. Tell everyone you know that Sean View Entertainment is your number one destination, your one stop place for all WWE, and it'll always be in your face. Later.